You're tuned in to Adult Industry Talk, the number one online radio platform for adult industry professionals and organizations to promote their talents, products, services, activities, and events. We are also a platform for individuals and organizations to voice their views, opinions, concerns, and complaints about all types of issues in the adult industry that impact on them in a positive or negative way. We hope you enjoy this episode. Talk about sex on the radio and video show. Many. Do you have a sexy voice, excellent communication skills, and a great media personality? Then we invite you to become a host of the new talk show for the adult entertainment industry. As our host, you will interview the sexiest strippers, escorts, porno performers, and other adult entertainers worldwide. You will also interview owners and managers of all types of adult businesses around the world. This can all be done from anywhere in the world. All you need is a smartphone, iPad, or computer internet access and a Skype account. But where's the money? You will earn 50 to 75 US dollars per interview. Each interview lasts five to 15 minutes. If you're interested in this opportunity, please visit our website for more details at adultindustrytalk.com. You're tuned in to Adult Industry Talk. I'm your host, Charlie Spice. Uh, with me in the studio this morning is Jason Maskell from Adult X funding, a crowdfunding platform for adult industry projects. Before we get into the show, I must explain to you that I'm in Barbados at the moment, and in the background, you may hear some chickens or cows sounding off. Uh, I'm sat here looking at um, uh, a bit of a farm here at the moment, so uh, please forgive me. I'll try to edit them out afterwards. Jason, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you, Charlie. Great to hear from you. Okay, I hope you. I hope you are an animal lover, Jason. You might hear some. I am indeed. <laughs> I love to eat chickens and cows. I eat them all. I love them all. <laughs> Fantastic. Get a shirt, please, and none of them even better. <laughs> okay, let's jump right into it. Uh, let's introduce you properly to the audience, Jason. Tell us something about Jason Maskell before your involvement with Adult X Funding Project. Right. Well, I've, I've actually been in the adult industry globally for oh, just over 18 years now. Um, I initially got into it by being a makeup artist. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's yeah, interesting. A little bit, little bit different. Um, mm. I, I used to be a salesman. I got bored doing sales one day and went off and trained to be a makeup artist. Mm. And then accidentally fell into doing makeup on the porn sets. Oh, OK. Uh, and then really from there... It then developed. I had a model agency where I also used to put out other makeup artists and hairstylists and, and performers into the adult industry. Yes. Um, and did a lot of consultancy work and built up my little black book of contacts. Okay. Uh, then went off and worked for one of the UK's main adult studios as a sales and marketing manager. Mm -hmm. Set up their their office in the US. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of developed from there. And so really. All my interests and things I was doing and clients and when I sort of left left the studio and went back to doing consultancy, one of the biggest problems people were having when they were starting up, they had a great idea being in a, mm. a film or a, uh, a an adult board game. Yes. One of the big things they were all coming up with, they couldn't get the funding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the hardest thing. And crowdfunding was just starting to break off and yes. break out into the industry. And... But no one would take anything from the adult sector. Um, I went to one of the main crowdfunding platforms in the UK. They said, yep, we're happy to take this film on board, but we have to put it behind our firewall because it's adult related. And I'm like, do you know what? That's not a problem for me and my client. Mm -hmm. um, we'll promote it ourselves and, and that'd be yeah. great. Okay. And then two days before we were going to go live, they called me up and went, Jason, how can you do that? I'm like, do what? We've had a call from a journalist saying, guys, you're crowdfunding porn now. Oh. Well, I went, well, I've done exactly what you told me to do. You put it behind your firewall. Your mm. logos are all over the website when you click on the link. Yes. You told me I had to promote it, so I've promoted it. I've done exactly what you said. Mm. Um, so they decided to pull it because they got a little bit embarrassed. Mm. Um I can imagine. I, way. I, can, I can imagine. Are you the only founder of uh, Adult X Funding? Yes, yeah, I'm the founder. It was my idea. After sort of this debacle with this other platform, I then went out and spent a couple of years 
looking into the crowdfunding industry and finding the right platform to, to partner with and to white label because the cost of writing a platform from scratch was was crazy. So there's was, it was no point when there's some great platforms out there. Of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. But then mm-hmm. we had the same problem is lots of people in the crowdfunding sector went, yeah, that's, that sounds like a great idea. What mm-hmm. a huge market. It's a global market. It's multi-billion dollars. Of course, of you course. Can't that yeah, of course, now that you've told us what was the aha moment that uh, inspired you to launch mm-hmm. um, Adult X Funding, it's it's ironic. It's it's funny that you you tried to use crowdfunding to raise money for adult X funding. Uh, so so what happened? They eventually pulled the project from their platform. Is that correct? Well, that, that was for a film. Uh, that was for a film, not for a, not for adult X funding. That was actually for a film for one of my clients' films okay. um, that got pulled from the platform. Mm-hmm. So that really was the moment where I said, "There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a way that." crowdfunding can be opened up to the adult industry and so they can mm. you know get the benefits of this opportunity ah, they've, got okay. out there, they've got people who are buying their films buying their sex toy yes going to the membership site so they can use that nucleus of people and database they've got to help bring the companies forward to grow them to launch new products to launch a new sex toy mm. launch a new website mm-hmm. well, that, that begs uh, that begs the question. Uh, if I may interject, uh, did you use crowdfunding to raise money for X? Uh, no, X no, no, no. It was self it was self funded. Mm-hmm. Um, we are at the stage at the moment where we are a rewards based crowdfunding platform. So you know, you pledge some money, you get a nice reward back from whatever company you're looking at. We are now going to the next stage of equity. Okay. So we're allowing companies to sell. Mm-hmm. businesses yes okay or, yeah, well, for larger larger investments and for that we're currently talking to a range of investors um are looking to come on board and join us okay well my audience would be very disappointed if i did not uh dig into what sort of rewards <laughs> what sort of rewards well <laughs> are I you mean, offering I've got some really interesting campaigns on there at the moment um so, I mean, a couple of the campaigns, we have NHLP Central, which is a wonderful site for um, people who are lovers of ladies in seam stockings and high heels and nylons and, and sexy lingerie. Yes. So they are offering um, rewards such as they will make one of your fantasies come true and one of your storyboards and actually film it for you. Okay. Okay. Um, Great deals on, on membership. Uh, we have UK Student House, which is another um, successful t- uh, film production company. They're just about to crowdfund, or they're crowdfunding their 14th film with us. And for that one, you can actually become an executive producer and actually join them on set, which is not really the opportunity most people get. Um, we have B Sensory, which is an amazing sex toy. This sex toy. Yeah. Connect to your phone or to your your tablet, and actually connects with the erotic book you are reading. So it's wonderful for the ladies. <laughs> so nice. You can also it's nigh on silent, so you can actually be using this sex toy on the way to work, reading your book on the tube or the train, and not. <laughs> gonna... I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, yeah, there's so many amazing sex toys on the market today. Oh, yeah, it's um, uh, uh, fantastic. I've got a number of companies waiting to come on to the show to talk about what they're offering and uh, how amazing they're uh, and how exciting, obviously, their products are. Uh, now, t- you know, it's always difficult to mainstream anything that is quote unquote taboo. What sort of yeah. reaction are you receiving from? Um, investors and certainly from entrepreneurs we've, we've had a bit of a mix to be totally honest i mean there was uh, about a year or so ago we were featured in the financial times magazine okay uh, they quite happily openly spoke about us which was great um and they were looking at the adult industry yes we've had people go i'm a little bit wary of this because of the t- taboo nature yeah the whole idea at the stage at the moment with the rewards is for people who are already buying products. If they're going and buying sex toys, they're already buying mm-hmm. DVD, VOD. 
yeah. is that our adult X funding and actually look at what extra bonuses you can get. You know, you go to NHLP Central, you get extra bonus membership. You can get a longer period than you would if you went to the site direct at the moment because they're, they're looking to expand and launch the little bird sex toy that links in with the tablet and the erotic books. It's normally $100, $150, you know, which is about £129. Um, you can buy it now for, via us. You get it for £90, plus you get books bundled in as well. Okay. So t t people get better offers. Yeah, t tell me, what to date um, is the major challenge or major challenges you have experienced while launching um, well, adult the, X funding? The biggest challenges have, have come from the mainstream is... Yes, we're getting some mainstream coverage in the press, which is great. Um, the biggest things, which a lot of the adult industry struggle with, is um, from the financial sector, i.e. billing companies. Um, they don't like crowdfunding. They don't like the adult industry, so they're trying to, you know, uh, trying to up their prices. We are currently looking at, as I say, we're going to equities. We can offer... Um, bigger opportunities for companies to sell shares now to do that we have to be regulated oh yes that's right. um, mm -hmm. now there's a couple of ways we do this and the first way is we use a thing called an AR which is a, an appointed representative it's a company that works with us um, checks the site checks everything we're doing while the regulation is going through and we and we piggyback off their regulation number and it's mm -hmm. again it's a legal way and they help us get our own regulation in place mm -hmm. and then um, the amount of companies I've spoke to who offer this AR service to crowdfunding platforms, all of them said, great idea, that's fantastic. All of them, apart from one, said, we can't work with you. It's reputational risk. We're embarrassed by it. Oh, God. I've now found a company that's gone, great idea, we love it. Yes, we want to work with you because we see the potential here and you're doing nothing illegal. Mm -hmm. Everyone's an adult in one form or another. You can go to the local chemist yes. and buy a sex toy. It's everywhere now. Of course. Um, and they're professional companies and they're professional projects. Mm -hmm. So you now have that, but it's been a long, hard struggle talking people to keep getting the door slammed in our face because they're embarrassed about it. Yes, I can imagine. The, the crowdfunding space is a very busy area, and uh, uh, given the that adult X funding focuses on quote unquote taboo projects. Are you getting any partnership proposals from from um, the, the community? You know, there there are many groups, there are many organisations, associations. Are, have you have you tried to be, to partner with them in any way? Well, no. I mean, from within the adult sector, the feedback and the support has been amazing. It's been fantastic. You know, the amount of companies coming to us going. Can we go on there? Um, and we do. We work with everyone that puts a pitch forward to us to see if it's right. Is there is their company set up ready to crowdfund? A lot of them, they, they're a little bit early. They come into us with a great idea, but they don't have everything in place so they could, so they could fulfill mm -hmm. their rewards and get everything up and ready. So we work with them to make sure we have the best opportunities for investors to get the great rewards from them and in future equity. Mm -hmm. um, but. The rest of the industry has been great with supporting us, uh, promoting us, talking to us, telling us you know that they love it and, that, and they think it's a great idea. So that's been very useful. Yes. It, it just really it is a lot of, of it's new for the adult sector. Of course. Uh, a lot of the adult companies haven't had to do this before, have not had the opportunity to do this before. So it's a totally new venture for them, and so they are finding it. Um, a bit hard to do um you know we've just partnered with a great um press release wire service that is now allowing us to actually put out press releases so we can when someone comes aboard we can put a press release about them mm -hmm. and their campaign on there and again we're getting the mainstream mainstream media coming back to us going tell us more this is looking really interesting mm -hmm. so the future is looking really good it's just we need to keep plugging away and, and keep yes. pushing it out so they know it's there and the opportunities they can get. Would you accept pitches from companies that are not in the adult industry? If their product is aimed at the adult sector, it's legal, then yes, yeah, we, we would look at it. I mean, the biggest thing is we, I don't want to 
devalue the site. You know, you have other crowdfunding platforms out there, say like Indiegogo, that does some sex toys. They hide them away at the back. They you mm-hmm. have to search for them. The companies that are launching them have to really push them. Mm-hmm. And a couple, of, or quite a few, about fifteen or sixteen, have done mm-hmm. well. They've raised over one point six million dollars. Yes. Uh, over the last few years before we were launched. So that's why. But I really want to stand up and be loud and be proud and say, you have a sex toy, you have an adult product, it's legal, well, it's good. Well, as opposed to as, as opposed to devaluing, I would suggest you, you don't want to defocus because your focus is the adult industry. And uh, you, yeah. just, you just made an interesting um, reference to the fact that some of the other crowdfunding platforms do take on board um, uh, sex toy projects. Well, I'm sure you can target many of those companies or entrepreneurs to bring them over because some of them may not that, may not have yeah. the, the success that they're looking for on mainstream no. crowdfunding platforms. That's it. That's what we're looking to do is to actually make sure they're aware of us because they, they've all heard of Indiegogo because it's been around a lot, lot longer than us. Yes. Um, you know, we only launched a slow, soft launch in January, so we're still in you know, our first year of trading mm-hmm. um, of putting campaigns out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we, we do want to bring more of those people over and let them realize that we're actually on their side. Okay. We're there to help them and support them and really push them and promote them and not, mm-hmm. not shut them back and away behind closed doors. Okay, let's take this into a reality phase here. Someone yep. listening to this show right now has an idea, a great idea. Yep. They want to get it funded. Talk us through the steps of coming onto your platform. Right. Okay. It's really simple. They go to adultxfunding.com. Mm-hmm. They just go to the top right hand corner and, and log on, register for free. Tell us they're an entrepreneur. Fill in some basic details. So we've got, we know who they are. They confirm their email address. So we know they are a real person. So it's very secure. We then basically, they just click back onto the site and start a pitch. Again, it's really straightforward. They walk through, give us the name, the details, how much money they're looking for. And then about in the about the company section, they tell us really what they're looking to do, what their campaigns for, what they're trying to do. Um, that then gets submitted to us. We read through. We then reach back out to them and we will start a discussion with them. We'll make sure we get images from them. We will make sure the campaigns in the best way, looks the, the best possible opportunities. We'll go through the rewards they put on the in mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. as well, mm-hmm. and, and then we'll we'll finish and we'll work with them to tweak that. Okay. Once they're with that, there is a small fee for it to go live. Okay. Once it's by everyone, and and then we switch it on with them. What is that fee? The fee at the moment is two hundred and forty nine pounds. Okay. And that that basically covers. All the work, all the due diligence we do, all the working with them, finishing their campaign off, finishing their pitch off, mm-hmm. promoting it on our social networks, uh, and really making sure they're ready to go mm-hmm. uh, and giving them the best opportunities they can. Mm-hmm. And, and also, you know, some extra hints and tips we can offer on our blog within the site. We offer hints and tips that people can do before they their mm-hmm. pitches live to start building up their database mm-hmm. to get things ready for really when it goes live. Do you take a commission from the money raised? We don't take a commission unless they hit their target. Okay. So if they hit their target, then yes, they will. We we charge a commission based on depend depend on how much they're looking to raise. Mm-hmm. So that varies between ten to fifteen percent. But they don't pay anything any of that commission if they don't hit their target. Mm-hmm. Now that is no, that is that is so straightforward. As a matter of fact, you've got me eager to consider using uh, your platform <laughs> to raise some money for uh, adult industry talk because I want to take uh, my platform to the next level. I want to go to TV, online TV, and not just radio. And uh, yeah, you've got me thinking. I'm really happy. Well, that... it, let's let's look at this one, Charlie, and say, you know, what rewards can people get for pledging and supporting you, or do we wait till we go equity and then they can take a chunk of the company? You know, a percentage of the company with you, and then, mm-hmm. and then they they partner with you. So there's there's lots of options. And we'll, hey, we'll 
Uh, I think that's a lot of conversation. We can really batter some ideas back and forward after your show. Of course, no, we'll definitely talk about that because it's, uh, yeah, it's very it's interesting right. and I have a lot to offer in terms of rewards. And uh, oh. uh, uh, I, would, I would be very cautious about doing equity at the moment, but certainly rewards. I mean, I can offer advertising, I can offer exposure, I can offer, you know, there's, uh, there's quite a bit. Uh, you know, uh, when crowdfunding first came into the marketplace, it took the financial world by storm and uh, continues to do so today. As a matter of fact, it has changed the, the landscape of the financial services sector and gave banks a, a hell of a scare and a run for their yeah. money. I'm just wondering, from your research, how are banks coping with so many crowdfunding platforms? This must have put a massive dent in their in their revenue stream I, I think it really has but they i think in the past they really really they've overcharged clients they that you hear some horror stories where they have really they've given loans out to people and then they've actually forced those companies into liquidation liquidation yes. um to benefit the banks only i mean the world bank estimates that crowdfunding could reach 90 billion dollars by 2020 okay. oh, now yes. That's a huge amount of money that's run through and given control back to the people to to support different campaigns where they feel they want to. So I think it's it's great, and especially for the adult in industry sector that hasn't had this opportunity. It's a multi billion dollar industry itself. I think your, your best days are about to come. I don't see why you should have any major challenges, Jason. I mean, I mean, it's it's obviously easy to say this, you know, because I'm not involved. But uh, they're just there's just so much potential. So many people would want to to uh, people now create ideas, knowing that there is a funding solution. Because before well, you you could talk to anyone about an adult industry project, unless it was a friend or some client who's 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 full of money <laughs> and and wants to support you. Exactly. Uh, I mean, and now and now people are getting used to crowdfunding, mm -hmm. you know, and take a sex toy. You can go down to a local chemist on the high street and buy a sex toy in the UK. Um, we've got a chain of shops called Poundland and everything costs a pound. They're now selling sex toys in there for one pound. Oh, <laughs> so, so it's becoming so mainstream. So when people have a great idea, yes. they can now come and, and then put it out to the to, to the public also, it's a great opportunity for them to beta test an idea, to get it to that prototype, mm -hmm. um, that stage where, and then get the people to really help them develop and move it forward and great for brand awareness and, and building customers at an early stage is what com companies need to do. So it can be used not just to raise money, but to really cement a, cement a brand and a branding into, into the public's consciousness. Okay, very good. No, it's very interesting. And I would like to think that you at some time in the future can come back on the show and tell us the progress you're making. And we've we've actually gone over the time you have at you 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 said you wanted to be on the show, but uh, I guess Charlie, no, no, I, 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 you know, you didn't have a, a show for eight hours long, but I would have carried on talking. But no, I, okay, no, this is all good. I, I I love it. You are cutting edge. You're 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 trendy. You you know you're innovative, and I see nothing but major success. And anything I can do, of course, I I'll be happy to support you from the from the point of view of being a media company uh, so is there anything you would like to say to the audience before you um, we end this uh, episode well the biggest thing is, is come along to adultxfunding.com you register for free doesn't cost you anything to, to have a look around so you can register for free have a look at the campaigns are on there and if there's one you like either you want some extra membership you want a membership deal or you want the, the little bird be century sex toy that links into your tablet at a greater price or you want the female pleasure product pleasure product from Louis and you can get a year's supply extremely extremely cheap and it's a fantastic um, they hate the word female condom but it's so people understand what the product is based on yes. um, there, there's products like that that you can get and you're in one you're getting a great deal, you're getting a great reward, but also you're helping that company move forward. All the companies on our camp on our pitches with their campaigns, they're using us to help take their companies forward. You're helping them grow to build. Um, 
and you're not just giving your money to some random yeah. corporate. You actually, you really are helping the mm-hmm. small business person. Of course, and it's it's entrepreneurism that actually drives economies. So we need to help the small entrepreneurs. Well, it I is. want to thank you very much, Jason, for taking the time to come on to uh, Adult Industry Talk. It has been very informative, and uh, we're going to speak off air. I've got some interesting uh, things to discuss with you. So again, thank you very much. You have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll be in touch very shortly. Thanks, Charlie. You're more than welcome. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of this episode of Adult Industry Talk. I would like to thank our sponsors, guests, and our production team. I would also like to thank our listeners for tuning in and giving us an audience. We appreciate your support. If you have an interesting experience, opinion, or agenda about the sex or adult industry to share with our audience, we invite you to be a guest on the show. Please contact our production team at charliespice at gmail.com or visit our website at adultindustrytalk.com. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast. You can listen to a repeat of this episode in the archives at any time in the future. Simply go to our website and follow the links. I am your host, Charlie Spice, saying bye for now, peace and love, I'm out.